Well, good morning Facebook, it's Paul again here. I've got an update on the Tattle XT 6000 restoration and a bit of a retro mod. And we'll just go through that now. Enjoy. Okay, I've inserted the photos of the previous video that I did on this um, when, the, when the radio came in. And I've just done a, a very minor clean just to get some of the grime off. And this week I'm going to start uh, producing a video on what we're about to do. All right, so where have we come? Okay, you may notice that we've got um, uh, five new five knobs and the channel selector on the radio. There used to be black knobs on this, which were not original. As you can see on the dimmer, that's what was on this radio. Um, so it now have the correct knobs. Just waiting on one more. I've actually located in the UK <laughs> three more of these knobs, and they're on their way. I believe they've just hit customs in Australia. So I'll have that one also done. Uh, the process from here is to then strip all the paint, remove the front face plate. I've got a new face plate that's been made that's being shipped to me now. So that will come up like new. Uh, the point of this exercise is that you won't, it, it will look brand new, just like the other Tetel XT 6000 I did about nine months ago. I actually did two more. So the process is to, um, with the, uh, channel selector, the the purple screen is to remove that as well, cut and polish that to brand new. Um, also dismantle the meter, clean that inside and out and polish the main display. All of the gouges around the edge of the bezel, they will all be removed. Okay, and any any other um, marks that are deep in the panel will be will be filled and spray painted in original colour. Uh, this is not the original colour. Um, I can get a closer match to the original panel with the paints that I have. Alright, so then what are we going to do electronically? There's a couple of things um, that this radio has issues with. The first one is the VCO needs replacing. So my choice of VCO is the Razer Radio's uh, um, uh, VCO. And why do I do that? This, uh, this VCO has all um, supporting... Uh, Intel on its performance on Ray Costantian's website of Razer Radios, but it's a triple layer board. It has an RF layer on the second uh, protection on the second layer, um, and it's it's a very stable device. I've used them on all my Cybernet radios and never had a fail, never had any quirky things happen, never had any RF interference. Um, there's quite a bit of science gone into this product. Uh, so there you go. Okay, so he makes two VCOs, one for the GEB model to replace the green uh, box, and this one is for the Cybernet Mark I, which of course this is. The second thing that I'm going to retrofit into this is backlighting uh, uh, on the all of the knobs. So I'm going to enlarge the holes on these, which you won't see. And again, this is a radio, Razor Radio product, uh, which are the, his Nitro uh, backlight boards. And they mount directly onto the potentiometers and sit flush mount. And then I just provide 12 volts to those. So I'll create a manifold of wires and to power that. And I'll be taking that off the on-off switch. And then there's a slightly larger one here which is for the channel selector. Now, I've nicknamed this one, uh, what is it, the, 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 the demon or something. All these backlights are going to be red. Um, and originally, I was actually going to put uh, different knobs on it. So I had these made up in Italy, and they just actually don't suit this. I've tried them on, um, and they don't suit this particular um, project. So that's what, um, that's what we're going to do. I thought I'd just give you an update. The microphone's been cleaned. Hasn't been thoroughly detailed yet to where the plug is um, uh, detailed, but the cord's been done and it's on its, it's, on its way. Um, so if any of, any of you guys out there have got a Cybernet Mark I and you want uh, a stable uh, VCO, I can't speak any, any more highly than Razer Radio's Cybernet uh, devices. Very easy to fit. They look good. High quality standard in the PCB manufacturing. 
and um, there you go. So that's the update on the TE6000, which I'm going to take you on a journey uh, with me. Look forward to uh, the comments and also look forward to the two Johnson Vikings, which I'm about to start as well. Thank you very much. Comment, like and subscribe. That's Paul over and out.